Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first off, right off, the right off the bat, I am sorry that you guys have seen this same exact outfit in the past, well this is the third video now. I'm kind of on a filming haul today. This is the first time in my new apartment that I'm filming and I kind of just feel like having a filming marathon because I really missed you guys. And there's a lot of things that have been going on that I want to share with you guys. A lot of you have been asking me on Instagram for an update on the LASIK. I had, I believe, two videos i yeah i have a video talking about lasik and why i decided to get it done and the doctor that i went to and all that type of information and then i actually had a vlog style video here on my beauty channel where i brought you guys along to the doctor's office i filmed getting out of the procedure right before the procedure recovering at home and then i even had an extended version of that over on my vlog channel where it was more of the recovery at home so you guys got to see a lot of that but i didn't really sit down after and let you guys like kind of have a conversation with you guys and just talk to you about the whole thing you guys saw it you saw how I was right after surgery not even 20 seconds after the surgery um, but you know it was kind of just like a behind the scenes the camera was following me around I didn't really get to speak to you guys about it so I want this to be not too long of a video but I just wanted to address a couple of things to you guys and I do also want to let you know that on my next follow-up which is next week you have two major follow-ups after the surgery just to make sure that everything went okay and I am bringing my camera along with me and the doctor actually agreed to sitting down with me and answering the top 10 questions that you guys send over so definitely leave any questions that you have down below about LASIK anything nothing is off topics any questions that you guys have about lasik eye surgery let me know i'm gonna jot, jot down the top 10 that get asked a lot or thumbs up a lot and i will ask the doctor and that will be up sometime this month or next month so anyway i have a little notepad right here because i have some pointers that i just wanted to make sure that i didn't forget to mention and the first thing that i wrote in all caps was best decision that i ever made seriously you guys I was so scared going into this. I really thought that I was going to go blind. I don't know why. I just the thought of some type of machinery cutting into my eye and I don't know, like it was just very scary. I thought there was a chance of me going blind and I was like, okay, so what if I make my situation so much worse? What if, okay, now you have to wear contacts and glasses and after the surgery, like you can't even wear contacts and you have to wear glasses because you made your situation so much worse. And I just thought and thought and thought and let my mind wander. I let all the horror stories get to me. And um, honestly, you guys, it was nothing like that. It was the most smooth, easy going best experience ever and the only mistake that I think that I made was not getting this done years ago so let's backtrack to the day that I got the surgery I went in there I was I don't want to say on the operating table but in the procedure room let's say that for about it was seven minutes in each eye so 14 minutes and everything was done and I'm letting you guys know that it did not even feel like 14 minutes it passed like that and I even asked the doctor at one point, um, I was like, I, is my eye open right now? And he's like, yes, we're doing the procedure right now. I didn't even know my eyeball was open. I did not feel anything at all. So if you guys are worried about the risk, yes, anything has a risk, absolutely. But um, it's a very like high tech surgery. It's completely done by, um, by machinery and the doctor kind of just oversees everything. It's, um, it's like it's very streamlined I want to say and I did not feel any type of pain at all I was so worried about I was even more than the laser I was more worried about the, the little forceps that hold your eye open because I'm like I'm going to want to blink like not being able to blink is going to freak me out and honestly the numbing drops that they give you make it so you don't have the desire to blink like I didn't even know if my eye was open or if my eye was closed so Honestly, I just want to let you guys know that there was absolutely no pain involved. I carried a conversation with the doctor the entire time. I think the doctor is so funny. He asked me um, the, on the pre-op appointment what was my favorite Pandora station. I told him probably either Trey Songs or Chris Brown Pandora. And so when I went in there, he had the Chris Brown a Pandora station on there for me. And we were talking about Chris Brown and talking about hip hop and rap music and laughing the entire time. like. It was awesome. The doctor really did put me at ease. So um, it was crazy. It was crazy. I did not feel like I was getting a procedure done. So what else do I have here? I said it was fast. 
um, that the doctor made me laugh throughout it. He did tell me at some point, he's like, okay, I need you to be quiet for this point because obviously you can't be giggling and talking too much throughout the entire procedure. So that's that, um, that there was no pain, no pain involved. They even told me that I was gonna feel pressure and I'm telling you guys, I did not even feel pressure. Like I did not feel like anything was being done to my eye. I swear to you guys, I know it sounds crazy, but I did not feel anything at all. And you guys can see that in the vlog that I put on this channel, I walked out of the procedure room and into the little chair where the doctor examined me. And like, it was like nothing. I walked in like, like I didn't have anything done at all. Um, I wanted to talk about the recovery and the downtime. So basically I did have to go home and keep my eyes shut for five hours. That was probably the most difficult part because I'm the type of person that I can't sleep during the daytime. So I had to sit there with my eyes closed and kind of just have conversations with Mike and with my family. And uh, we were all just hanging out and I was trying to nap, but I really couldn't. I just can't sleep during the daytime. Then I got up, I had a little snack, something to eat, and then I did go to sleep for the night. And the very next morning I woke up with crystal clear vision. I was so afraid because when I first did wake up out of surgery, they had me read the clock on the wall, which I could do with absolutely no problem, but it looked like steamy. It looked like I was in a sauna, I like a little bit cloudy, but I could see very, very sharp. Um, and I was afraid that the cloudiness or feeling like I was in a sauna um, was going to last. But it didn't. When I woke up in the morning, I just saw crystal, crystal clear. It was amazing. Like walking around the house, looking around, looking outside, I was just like, oh my God, I see more clear than I ever even have with glasses or contacts. They told me that I went from 20, oh my God, I don't want to get this wrong, but I think I want to say 2300 to uh, 20, to better than 2020, almost 2010, which is amazing. So like I see like an eagle, it's crazy. And half the time I forget that I even had the surgery or this procedure done. And I think that's what I want to talk about next, yeah. Um, the dryness thing, a lot of people say that your eyes are going to be really dry, you're going to need eye drops all the time. Now, for the first week when I got it done, yeah, my eyes were really dry, but they give you prescription eye drops that you have to use for about 10 days. And during that whole time, my eyes did feel dry. Not They weren't red, um, they weren't irritated, they just feel they felt very dry. Um, and I was like, all right, I guess this is the feeling that everyone is talking about. I guess this is how my eyes are going to feel from now on. It's all right. I can deal with it but after those 10 days when I was finished with those drops my eyes went back to normal and I'm not saying that this is the case for everyone some people probably do have long-term dryness um, that sounds funny <laughs> but I am definitely not one of them because my eyes feel this the same exact way that they did before I had the surgery like I would never guess half the time I forget that I even had the surgery I also had a lot of warnings that driving at night was gonna be difficult that you were gonna see halos around the stoplights no like, no, I see perfect. I see so much better than I did before having the surgery. Absolutely no complications, no irritation, like no cons. I honestly cannot think of one con of having this surgery. Like they're all pros. And uh, my sister wants to get it now. One of my best friends wants to get it now. Another one of my um, subscriber turns, good life friends wants to get it now. Um, and I just, I can't recommend it to you guys enough. And um, what else? I, I really think that was it. Yeah, I said again at the bottom, the only mistake that I, I, I think that I made was not getting it done a long time ago. I always thought that it was going to be like a $10,000 surgery. Um, the whole thing is under $5,000. I got a lot of questions on the last video um, asking about the price, but I'm going to put the first video where I talked about everything, the second video, which is the actual vlog of me getting it done. Um, I'm going to post both of those down below so you guys can have, um, you know, an overview of the entire process. And Definitely let me know your questions down below for the doctor because that's pretty exciting. It's not very often that a doctor will sit down with you and kind of open up and let you guys ask any questions that you want. So I'm going to jot them down and I will be bringing those into the office with me um, on my next follow-up appointment. And after I have my last follow-up, that's it. It's done. And my vision is amazing for the rest of my life. And I was very nervous. I had about, I scheduled it like two months ahead of time. And for those two months I was very very nervous because I just had a lot of fears like the surgery does have a negative connotation to it a lot of people are like it's your eyes why would you mess with your eyes um, but honestly like I don't regret it at all I feel like it is the best decision that I ever made it's amazing to be able to wake up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and see the clock and not have to bother with glasses and contacts 
Don't even get me started on contacts. I would wear my contacts from nine to 10 hours a day. My eyes were always red and irritated. People always used to tell me that my eyes were bloodshot and I used to get the worst, worst migraine headaches. Like my, my contact would feel dry in my eyes and just my eyes would always feel very tired. And it's amazing to not have to deal with that anymore. Just having crystal clear vision and not dealing with glasses or contacts. It's, it's hands down the best decision ever. And I think I said that like 20 times already. So that's where I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope that I covered any questions that you guys have. And if I didn't, make sure to watch the other two videos that I will post down below because I talked a lot about why I wanted to get the surgery done, how I found the doctor. In those videos, I actually did provide the doctor's information. I will also post it down below. They are located in Long Island, New York, and they do have a special discount, which is why I decided to go in. I found them online that if you attend their seminar, that they take $1,000 off the entire procedure. So that's actually how I found them. I just Googled. New York LASIK eye surgery and they were the first ones to come up and since they had a seminar that I could attend that I could ask the doctor questions in like a big group setting and it wasn't like a one-on-one -on -one consultation it made me feel a lot more comfortable so that's actually why I went in in the first place and then on top of it getting a thousand dollars off of the entire procedure so that's amazing I'm gonna post everything down below so make sure to check the description box thank you guys all so much for watching leave your questions down below for the doctor because that video will be coming up next and I will see you guys next time Bye.